All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button, please. And let's get right into this one. Let me give credit, first of all, to the Jamaica Observer and the article that was written by Alicia Dunkley Willis, who is a senior staff reporter at the Jamaica Observer. All right, check this out. Into the details, as we continue to follow the Klansman Wandan gang trial. Disclaimer. This information is not ours. This information is information compiled from what has been released to the public. Because remember, this is a trial where no reporters are inside as in TV. We can't see what's no live broadcast going on inside or anything like that. Not even a jury because this is a trial by judge only. No jury. All right. Latest information says satellite data presented in court of Friday suggests that the alleged leader of the Klansman gang, which is Andre Blackman Bryan, and his supposedly senior lieutenant, Jason Brown, who is also known as City Puss and Lucifer, made numerous cell phone calls while they were in custody of the state between 2018 and 2019. This is satellite data, you know. Remember? All right, so the satellite data showing the 10 most frequently used cell towers featuring in calls allegedly made among members of the gang was presented by a police sergeant who is an analyst assigned to the Constabulary Communication Forensics and Cybercrime Division. Now, over the period, Brian who had been held at Central Police Station lockup in downtown Kingston while Brown was incarcerated at Horizon Remand Center on Spanish Town Road. Both are among the 33 people who are accused of being members of the outfit which is on trial, which is the Klansman Wandan Gang, which is a St. Catherine-based gang who are now before the Supreme Court on a range of charges in what is the largest gang trial in Jamaica's history. Many of the calls were routed through cell towers near the facilities where both of the men were being held at the time. This is what the court was told. The police sergeant has been on the witness stand since Wednesday, presenting the link between call data records and subscriber information received from telecommunications firm Flow. Remember Flow Digicel, the last video we did for this uh, talked about how Flow and Digicel, the people that work there or the people who would be responsible for turning over this data information to law enforcement, they were afraid. They were like, yo, me don't want to be involved in this. And they were throwing it around like hot potato. You do it, James. No, no, Simone, you do it. No, Marcus, you do it. And then they finally got somebody to fly in to the country to do it, right? And in the comment section, people were saying, well, why would somebody be afraid to do it? It's, um, it's a procedure that must be done, blah, blah, blah. But if you understand how this gang is perceived remember i know you talk about people that the story is is like the boogeyman story it's like oh they kill people for real okay i don't want no parts of this right okay so along with the numbers and attribution aliases and names of alleged gangsters these were all turned over subscriber information received from telecommunications firm flow Along with the numbers and the attributions, aliases and names of alleged gangsters taken from three cell phones were turned over to the police by a former gang member turned state witness who has been named as witness number one. Member witness number one said he recorded them on three cell phones and he turned over those three cell phones to the police. Right. I've said it to this date. This is the biggest crush in that whole trial them three cell phone there. on friday the analyst said images provided by google earth showing numbers that used the central exchange site in downtown kingston which is 24 kilometers away from the central police lockup showed that four cell phone numbers 
attributed to Brian, also called Teacher, frequently used that tower. Additionally, he said, Earth Google Earth images of the North Street site, also in downtown Kingston, were frequently used by the same numbers attributed to Brian. That tower is located 54 kilometers from the central police lockup. So what I'm guessing happening here is the brother were, um, recorded them secretly on the three cell phones. They were able to ping who he was talking to on the other end. You understand? The phone get a call. When the phone get the call, they're saying that Google Earth is saying that that call was coming from inside of the lockup facility. And it was coming from a certain cell phone to this phone who which he was using one of the three cell phones to record the call right the court also heard that google earth images further showed that the harbor street cell site was frequently used by the numbers attributed to brian the analyst said that he was asked by investigators to use the central police station as a reference in reviewing the call data records in respect to the accused brown the analyst told the court that the google earth images of the trench town cell site also in downtown kingston showed that it was frequently used by the four mobile numbers that were attributed to brown who has been behind bars since 2012 on a separate murder charge so in other words then He's used about four different cell phones since within that period of time, right? Even though he was behind bars. Furthermore, Google Earth images of the industrial terrace cell site also in downtown Kingston showed heavy use by the four numbers that were attributed to Brown. The cop told the court that the satellite images showed that the East Avenue cell site also in the vicinity of the remand center showed heavy use by the four numbers said to belong to brown the cop further unveiled for the court the plethora of calls which were transmitted by the 10 cell sites most frequently used by the accused gangsters the west parade site in downtown kingston was the most used 5,046 times. Grandale in St. Catherine is the second most used, 3,942 times. The North Street site, 3,767 times. Trench Town site, 3,293 times. This is a whole heap of phone calls. Spanish Town Exchange site, 2,056 times. Each Avenue site of Spanish Town, East Avenue, site of Spanish Town Road, 1,659 times. Central Exchange in downtown Kingston, 1,249 times. Railway Station site, also downtown Kingston, 1,214 times. Stadium Boulevard site in St. Andrew, 862 times. And the Runaway Bay site, 785 times. Brian's attorney, this is Blackman Brian, his attorney, who is Lloyd McFarlane, in cross examining the witness, insisted that the cop was unable to verify, quote unquote, if any of the numbers he spoke to could in fact be attributed to his client or any of the other accused, except for the numbers of the lead investigator and the officers of the counter-terrorism and organization crime investigation branch of the constabulary you have personally verified two numbers is what the lawyer said but you are not able to personally verify the others mcfarlane stated mcfarlane also confronted the witness over the veracity of his claims pointing out that two numbers said to be attributed to his client had at points in the evidential material not been consistent the cop responded that the information was later corrected and said that he had no problem standing by the information that he presented so 
You have no problem standing by numbers that were incorrect that you cannot verify is what black man's attorney said. McFarlane said in a rhetorical parting shot, you have no problem standing by numbers where you that were incorrect that you cannot verify. Remember, I know that when he said that first, the cop said first the lawyer said that was inconsistent before and only get it wrong before and the cop said yeah but we got it corrected and i have no problem standing by it and the cop and the lawyer come back and said so you have no problem standing by numbers that were incorrect that you cannot verify and he walks away now in the meantime the analyst presented a link a chart showing the international mobile equipment identity or what is called the emei a unique number that is assigned to mobile cell phones that are linked to three phones a samsung a venino and an alcatel used by the crown witness number one crown witness number one is the person who was in the gang um, submerged in the gang working undercover using these three phones to record the rest of them unsuspectingly right so these phones were used by crown witness number one which he said were the same as those supplied by flow in the call data records it provided to the court those numbers attributed to the witness showed that the three cell phones communicated with other numbers within the call data records attributed to the various alleged gang members as well. Earlier in the trial, witness number one had testified that he turned over to the police the three phones, two of which were given to him by the cops with recordings of conversations between himself and members of the gang. The witness who said, he started working undercover with the police in 2018 while Brian was incarcerated to help dismantle the gang had told the court that the third handset or the third phone was given to him by a member of the gang on Brian's orders. He said he downloaded a call recording app to automatically tape multiple cell phone conversations which were also saved. He forwarded the recordings to cops when the memory became full before I heard that he actually gave them the phone and they gave him a new phone when the memory became full the trial is scheduled to resume at 10 a.m. on Monday when cross-examination of the police witness is expected to continue all right and that is where the story rests you can go and read this full article for yourself just so we're not hit with any plagiarism stuff in the jamaica observer and the article is called phone haven all right big up on yourself manners and respect boy this thing here still unfolding they took a break they took about a month break and because they took a break so much has happened in that time and people kind of moved on because we live in that time and age now you know if things are not consistent people move on so i see people in the comment section saying stuff like rotted they still a keep yes it's still keeping it's still keeping they have not been freed or convicted yet the case is still going on so we will continue to keep you posted and updated by gathering information that has been released and compiling them in one place and bringing the information to you leave your comments in the comment section below hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next video it's so flow tv why always festive jamaica always festive not sure i'm out peace